So welcome back again, folks. We're joined now by Emily and Stacy from the Massachusetts Lifespan Respite Coalition. Guys, did I get that right? You did, thank you. <laughs> so first of all, welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank Thanks you for having us. So a few questions for you. Uh, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about what the Massachusetts Lifespan Respite Coalition Absolutely. is? Absolutely. We're a state agency funded by a federal grant and we are an information and referral source for caregivers across the lifespan, which means it doesn't matter if you're a caregiver for your child, your spouse, your sibling, or your parent, your caregiver, and you need a lot of the same resources and supports. So we do a lot of work around helping people identify what's out there, as well as identifying gaps that are out there and trying to bridge some of those gaps. In terms of some of the big projects and programs that the organization is involved with, can you speak to that, Emily? Right, we've had an exciting few years. One of the big projects that we've had um, has been a mini grant project. We give small grants to respite providers across the state to try to support their efforts, but also to identify innovative practices that can be replicable, not only throughout our state, but also nationally. Uh, right now, we have an exciting project with EMC. We're piloting a caregiver survey for EMC employees, and this also is a replicable project, potentially, to try to find out uh, really what the employee's caregiver burden is and how we can respond with services. And uh, another project we have is a cable TV show out of Belmont. And finally, we're just launching a caregiver series uh, across the state, uh, replicating some existing best practices and also exploring some new innovative practices. In terms of your goals for this event in particular, any, any, any specific objectives or goals in mind? Well, I think we twofold. We want to raise awareness around what respite is, but also really connect people to some specific services. So we've been giving out information, a fact sheet about our coalition, but we've also been listening to people's stories and telling them to email us so that they can get the services that they need, so that they can focus on their work while at work, but I also get support services at home. Any impressions from the event so far? Uh, this has been a wonderful event and we're really glad to be here. And to follow up what Emily was saying, um, caregiving can be a very isolating experience. A lot of caregivers kind of don't identify as caregivers. Oh, I'm just taking care of my mom, no big deal. Meanwhile, they haven't had a decent night's sleep in three years. So part of it is acknowledging that you are a caregiver, that you're doing an amazing thing, and that you're not alone. That probably your coworker, two seats down, is caregiving for somebody as well, but that conversation never occurs. So that these people aren't alone, and there is a support network out there. Well, first of all, thank you for joining us. I appreciate you taking the time. Next, we're going to throw it back to Greg for another interview. Thanks, Greg.